Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. This is box break number two. I've actually, I've actually, uh, this is box break number two. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, Bowman Mega Box 2020. I uh, just received this a couple days ago. I've actually opened up well over two, three hundred, four, five hundred boxes over time. I just decided to uh, start posting a few videos because it seemed kind of cool. But this is the uh, Bowman Mega Box upgrade. Uh, our Bowman Mega Box 2020. It's got four 10 card packs, two exclusive five card chrome packs. Now I looked these, uh, I've been watching these for quite a while and uh, was kind of impressed with some of the rookies in here, some of the cards. I've actually have a few uh, Bowman uh, rookies on the way now uh, that I bought. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr., of course, is uh, one of the hottest names out there. I've actually have a few of his cards on the way um, coming soon. Uh, I think it's 25 or 30 card lot that I purchased. So let's crack this open again. We'll be putting everything in the uh, sleeves and in the uh, well, card saver ones. I used to use top loaders, but I like the card saver ones uh, for whatever reason. Getting kind of pricey these days, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. I do also, I posted a, a picture of a 1990 score box. Got a couple of comments about that. Uh, looking mainly for the Bo Jackson. I've got several of them myself, sold a few, have a few on hand. Uh, have sent a couple in to get graded. Uh, they came back uh, eight and a half to nine, nine and a half. Um, keeping a couple of those for my personal collection. Bo Jackson is one of my favorite players, so uh, one of the greatest two sport athletes ever. Probably one of the best athletes ever. Um, for whatever reason now, people are just catching on and his cards are like skyrocketing in value. Uh, everything has like doubled and tripled of value over the past six months, I would say, with Bo Jackson. So pretty hard to get a hold of him these days. But uh, here are the packs. And again, this is 2020 Bowman Mega Box. I believe they sell these at uh, a Target. I haven't um, gone to check yet. With everything going on, I haven't been going to the store very much. I do have things delivered here. Uh, but nonetheless, if I get a chance to go, I'll definitely go check for these at Target. Let's see what they have. Let's see right away. We've got our it, uh, four packs of ten cards. Regular Bowman. Ten card packs. It looks like either it looks like Bo Bichette on the front along, and maybe that's uh, Cody Bellinger or Alex Ferrucci. But it looks like Bo Bichette, uh, up and coming. I love Bo Bichette. I got tons of his cards. Uh, again, Sports Cards Austin's where you can find us. Uh, I've got several Bo Bichette rookies for sale. I've got uh, one ending soon on auction. Uh, graded uh, GMA ten. I uh, have a few hundred of them actually available. Here are the packs that I'm interested in, really. Uh, the exclusive Chrome packs. Now, Ronald Acuna Jr., I believe, is in this box. Um, looking over boxes going forward, I believe there's a Ronald Acuna Jr. in here that was actually a pretty nice card. Uh, we'll save those for a little bit later. And here we go with our first pack of 2020 bones. Uh, hopefully, and we get some good cards out of this. I do have some Nico, I don't know how to say his name, Hornier for the Cubs. I, I just sent uh, several of his cards into SGC for grading. I've got several more rookies of him on hand. Um, so we'll see how those go. First pack. Who did we get in the first pack? Let's move things around here. Yeah, not bad. Tim Anderson. Chicago White Sox, Speedy, pretty decent shortstop, several of his cards. Actually, on MLB, the show, he's really fast. 
I like using him for um, and will be the show for stables, whatnot. One of my favorite players on MLB The Show, though, D. Gordon is real super fast in that game. Billy Hamilton for steals. But one of my favorite players, believe it or not, Trevor Story is a home run king on that. I have MLB The Show 18. I haven't bought 20 yet. I'm still trying to finish up 18. And Trevor Story is just home run king on that game for me for whatever reason. But here's the Tim Anderson. Nice card. Rigor Bowman. I need the there we go. So that's a nice card. Um, again. Next up is Whit Merrifield. Second base, Kansas City Royals. Nice card. He's actually a pretty good player. I like this. I like Whit. Um, he is a base hit machine for the Royals. Hopefully, he does decent in this 60 game season we're about to have here. Here's the Whit Merrifield. Uh, pretty good player for Kansas City. He's actually one of their best players. Um, I like Whip Harfield. He's a pretty good player. Um, he trying to see where he's from here. He's actually from South Carolina. Pretty decent card. No big hits yet. Here we go. Here's a. Here is our first. We've got a Alex Thomas. This is a glossy. This is a nice card. This is glossy. Uh, uh, Alex Thomas from the Diamondbacks. This is a very nice card. I don't know. The, the, I got to look at the updated rosters. I'm not sure that he is actually going to be in the player poll for the 60 game season or not. I haven't seen his name. Uh, we'll. We'll have to take a look and see if he's actually in the player pool for them or not. The schedules were released yesterday. I haven't. Uh, I've, I've looked at a few of them, but I haven't. Uh, I think it's interesting that the uh, Nationals and Astros are going to play. Uh, but uh, anyway, can't wait for the Rangers and Astros. Too bad I can't. Won't be able to go to the new Rangers Stadium to see them play uh, due to no fans being allowed, but that'd be really cool. I love going to the Astros, Rangers, rivalry games. Been to several. Um, anyway, next we have Colton Welker. Again, another player. I'm not sure if he's in the player pool or not. And I can look that up here in a few minutes. So, nice card. Isn't this pretty, pretty nice card? Bowman usually does a pretty good job getting out some nice cards. Uh, I've usually had some pretty good success with Bowman in the past, so... Um, usually some pretty good cards, good players. I like the I like the feel of the cards, and they usually sell pretty well. And uh, I just I just like Bowman. I've uh, liked them for a while. Um, here we have Estevan Florial. I believe he is from Dominican Republic. Good card, Yankees prospect. Um, my guess is a lot of these guys won't be in the player pool right now. They, they're, they're probably, they may put them in the player pool uh, just to get them out and get some, some, some spring training in because there's no minor league season. A lot of these guys may actually go into the player pool and then get cut as the player pool gets trimmed down, uh, but we'll have to see. This is a very nice card here. Really, really nice card. San Diego Padres. This is a Bowman Chrome prospect. This is... Mackenzie Gore, really, really nice card. This is a this is a good card to get graded here. This is a again. I like getting my cards graded. I like GMA. Again, for those of you who saw the first video, they do they do a fair job. It's three fifty a card if I send a hundred cards in. It's a lot cheaper than paying two thousand dollars for a hundred cards to SGC or BGS. Uh, I do send to those companies in smaller amounts, but uh, this. Sitting in GMA, a lot of these cards I keep from my personal collection, so I just want to get them in case. I like using the card saver ones. Most of the cards I pull from the packs go straight into a card saver one, so 
Um, anyway, here is Mackenzie Gore. And, and and he's for the Padres. Padres might, you know, two or three years from now, they've been, of course, everybody's been saying that about the Padres. Actually, being in the 60 game season with Fernando Tatis Jr. And a few other players, the, the Padres, you know, could potentially make a run at the wild card in the 60 game season. I mean, all they have to do is get hot for two or three weeks, and they'll they'll be sitting in a good position for a wild card. I mean, uh, it it very well could happen this year. Um, I can't wait to get started. Next, we have Eric Perdino for the Toronto Blue Jays. Being a left-handed pitcher, uh, being young, he may be in the, in the player pool for the first 60 players just to get some uh, game time, practice time, again, due to no minor league season. Uh, so, being a left-handed pitcher, he may actually see some action. Okay, next we have Alex Young, left-handed pitcher, going to the Arizona Diamondbacks. And they have an interesting team as well. Nice card of Alex. Uh, next is a guy that I really like a lot. I, I haven't seen him in person yet and didn't make it out to Round Rock last year to see him. Didn't make it out to uh, Arlington or Houston when they were in Houston to see him. But I did follow him on TV. Uh, I watch most of the Rangers games or Astros games whenever they're on. I have access to it. But this is a really up-and-coming star. Uh, I think he's going to be a very good player. That's Nick Solak. Uh, anybody who knows the Rangers knows he's one of their top prospects. He's a really good player. Um, I don't think he was... Wouldn't have been Mound Rock anyways. Would have been... Uh, different uh, organization because Round Rock is now the Astros of course but, but Nick Solak is an interesting player he's that, that this one I'm actually going to get graded I believe I, I, I like him a lot um, I think he's got a bright future anyway next card last card first pack we have Mauricio Dubon San Francisco Giants second base, which I wonder if that's going to push out Joe Panic, but we'll see what happens. Uh, there's Mauricio. Nice card. Alright, let's go on to the second pack. Moving on, let's see what we have. Alrighty, I can see somebody good on the bottom. First card, decent. Really, really good player. Like the card. Christian Yelich. Milwaukee Brewers. Marlins, I guess, couldn't afford him. Uh, they can't really afford many people these days. But Christian Yelich, that's a great card. MVP. Might win the MVP this year when they get going. But we'll see. Moving on. Here's a nice card. Damon Laureano for the uh, A's. I've seen a few games with him. He's a pretty good player. Uh, A's have an eye for talent. Uh, they always have competitive teams playing the, the Billy Bean ball. But uh, Nice player. Here's a really good player that I like. Uh, he's going to be up and coming star soon. Carl Gostromski's grandson. And that is Mike Gostromski. I think he's going to be a pretty good ball player when all is said and done. There's Mike. Good player. It's going to be a good. That's a good card. <clears throat> I like Mike. I've seen him play several times. Uh, here is Kiebert Ruiz for the Dodgers and my guess is him being the catcher no grand all he, he could actually make the uh, roster this year for the uh, Dodgers out of uh, training we'll see I don't know 
how it's going to work, but no, you know, money going dolls off to, off to, uh, I believe it's the White Sox. But it should be interesting. He was with the Brewers. I think he's with the White Sox now, if I remember. But this is a, it's a really decent card, actually. This is a really good card. I don't know what this marker, this marker thing is a piece of. Okay. So here is Kiebert Ruiz. Possibly the future catcher for Dodgers. There he is. Next up, we have Minnesota Twins. Keone Cavaco, shortstop. I believe the Twins. Jonathan Scope was with the Twins. I'm not sure if he still is. Of course, they still got Marlon Gonzalez, good player. You told me, man, I like Marlon. But uh, here is Keone Cavaco. We'll see how he progresses. Next up, Rangers. Haven't heard much about this guy, Josh Chung. Third base. Um, could potentially make the roster. I mean, we need a third baseman. Alex, uh, Adrian Beltre retired, of course, and we tried to go with this triple Cabrera, who, for whatever reason, they let go, and then he ended up with the Nationals and winning a World Championship, World Series title. So, uh, triple Cabrera is a decent player. Don't get me wrong; he's had a decent career. But uh, here's Josh John. Anybody is interested in Josh? There he is. Next, we have a Bowman Chrome, uh, Teleris Montero for the Cardinals. Now the Cardinals always have some great prospects. This is a he's at third base. Cardinals are, you know, they do it right. They 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 know how to bring players up in the minors and to the majors and, and, and they always seem to have a good team and uh, I don't think this year is gonna be any different even with a short season. They still got Adam Wayne, right? So never count the Cardinals out. There's Montero. Good card. Next up, we have Nationals pitcher. Don't think he's going to make the roster. Uh, more than likely, he was probably going to be double A AA or triple A or short season. Um, with the Nationals being stacked, it's going to be pretty tough to crack their rotation or their bullpen. And we've got Mason Danberg. So keep an eye on Mason down the road for the Nationals. Next up, we got another uh, San Diego Padre, Michael Baez, rookie card. We'll see how Michael does this year. Again, Padres have some decent young talent. Just a matter of putting it all together on the field. See how they, they do things. There's uh, Michael. Next up, we have Travis Demrit from the Detroit Tigers. He is now outfield. Now, they do have Nico Goodwin out there, speedster. Tigers, Tigers are interesting. I don't know. Gal Cabrera is getting older. They lost Victor Martinez. They've got Matt, Matt Boyd. They've got, I don't know. It just seems like the Tigers every year seem like they're going to have a decent team, and then they lose 100 games, so so we'll see what happens. Last few years haven't been kind of doing anyway. Miguel Cabrera, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I, I like the Tigers a little bit. They, they trade me. Cody Clemens is on that team. Uh, we'll see if he makes the team out of uh, training or not. That'd be pretty cool, being a former Longhorn. Roger Clemens kid. Seen him play before. I actually saw him in Omaha. When Texas was in Omaha and they lost to Arkansas, it was at that game, so that was pretty cool. Next pack. Pretty good player, up and coming, Willie Adamus. He is Tampa Bay. Willie Adamus, good player. Really, really good player for Tampa Bay. Hope they can keep him for a while. There's Willie. And now we're getting to the good stuff. 
we have decent. I have to get some more time. Uh, cards ever ones out here in a minute. Here's a former MVP. Chris Bryan. Nice card. Nice card of Chris. Let's see where that goes. Cubs ought to be interesting. Okay, I'm about to start a conference call. Next up we have Jordan Balazovic. First Bowman card for Jordan out of uh, Minnesota. It would be interesting. Interesting player, Jordan. We'll see what what happens with him. Next we have Brennan Davis from the Cubs. We'll see how he does. I'm not quite sure if he'll make the roster or not with Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber might be DH on lots this year, something tells me. There's here's Brandon. Nice card. Nice card. <clears throat> Next we have Evan White for the Seattle Mariners. First Mariners card of the day. First base. Mariners are going to have an interesting team. We'll see how they fare. Next up, we have a Bowman Chrome. A couple of Bowman Chromes coming. Here's Colton Welker again. We had him a little while ago. Bowman Chrome, Color Runner Keys. Could potentially be at first base. Seeing Desmond's not playing. He could be your starting first baseman for the Rockies this year. We'll see. Cards pin sleeves and out of that pack. Get that real quick. And Ultra Pro Hundred Card Packs. I'm going to also probably need another card saver one pack, which I had to do yesterday as well. Here is a Oscar Gonzalez, Cleveland Indians first Bowman card, Bowman Chrome. That's a really nice card. That's a really, really nice card. I like this card a lot. This one's, this one's going to be great. Why do I Oscar? And now we have John Means from the Orioles. Orioles, I don't know what to say about the Orioles. They're just, it's the Orioles. You're in and you're out. You think they're going to have a good team. They never do. And here is Means. Next up is the Seattle DH, probably this year. I don't think he's going to play first base much. Primarily, probably be a DH this year. Dan Vogelbach. I've seen Dan Vogelbach um, back in the day in AAA. Great big guy. No wonder he hits a lot of home runs. I mean, he is huge. Dan Vogelbach. And I'm going to open up another card saver one box real quick for you guys because we, you can see it on the screen, actually have Bryce Harper on deck. Bryce, well, I don't know why he left Washington, but he did. Could have won a championship with him, went to the Phillies. I don't know. He's Bryce is okay. He's a good player. I don't know that he's 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 got he's 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 a pretty good player. He's up there for me, I guess. 
not my favorite player, but up there. A lot of people like Bryce. There he is. I'd imagine that's probably a couple bucks. Buck fifty. Off to the last regular pack. And then we have our two chrome packs. Let's continue. Ooh, here's a good player. Speedster. Arizona Diamondbacks. Patel Marte. And that is a nice card. Marte is... Diamondbacks have some good players. I don't know. They'll be a pretty decent team this year, I guess. They'll be in contention for the wild card, I believe. Marte actually hit 32 bombs last year. That's impressive for him. Next card up is Sean Murphy. Don't know much about Sean. I know it's a glossy card, but Sean Murphy's next. And catcher, so I guess this will give Josh Fegley a run catcher this year. He played 41 games last year. Uh, he actually had 11 bombs, 31 RBI, so not bad, dude. I think he's made some playing time. Next, we have. Brewster, Brewstar, Grotterol. That is from the Dominican Republic or something. We'll see. He's got to see where he's from real quick. Venezuela. Venezuela is, you know, all two. They got some decent players coming out of Venezuela. Bossy. This is uh, Ryan Rawlison, left-hander, Colorado Rockies. Not quite sure. He, he, he might make it this year. Might be a year off. Rockies are going to have an interesting team. Again, another team that could put together a wild card run. Here is Josiah Gray from the Dodgers, pitcher from New York. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think he'll be. If he makes the team, then Dodgers will be. He'll be out of the bullpen, I believe. Dodgers are pretty good pitching wise. But they did lose David Price this year, so who opted out, opted not to play. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Next we have Marco Luciano. He is the shortstop for the Orioles. I think he'll make the team. They got Jonathan VR, but he's at second, so we'll see. Renato Nunez, I believe is their, is that their shortstop. I don't know. I think Luciano has a shot in it this year. We'll see how that goes. Next we have our Bowman Chrome, and it's Julio Rodriguez from the Mariners. I would not be surprised if Julio is on the roster this year for the Mariners as a fourth outfielder, possibly. All the players opting out, players taking their time this year. I, I, a lot of these younger prospects are going to get a good look. We'll see how that goes. Next up is Hunter Green, pitcher for the Reds. And again, Hunter may be, I, I, would, I could see him coming out of the bullpen this year for the Reds. 3 0 last year, 95 Ks, 4.95 ERA. He could be a fifth starter, maybe. Or a long reliever out of the bullpen. The Reds this year. Okay. Next, we have a pretty decent player. 
electric power. 26 home runs. Hunter Dozier. Kansas City. Kansas City's got Jorge Soler. They got Hunter Dozier. We'll see what happens this year. They got Salvador Perez back. From injury. There's Hunter Dozier. And the last card of the regular packs. Just bruising stuff on the floor here. Last card. Oh, sorry. One second. That is Trevor Story, who we were talking about a little while ago. This guy. Pretty good player. Pretty good player. 35 home runs last year for Trevor Story. He is a, I don't know, he, he's got to be 85, 86 rating on MLB, the show. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the 2020, but there's Trevor, a really good player for the Rockies. So there you have it. Now we're going to move on to our two five exclusive chrome packs and this is where the fun might start folks this is where the fun might start and right away there it is refractor so cats me and look at these cards wow are these refract now these aren't refractors anyway Tarek Scoobal for the Detroit Tigers. My guess is you could make the roster. Maybe you can get fit starter. Detroit needs all the help they can get. Pretty good card. Look at that. Look at the way. Look at that. the way it's showing. These these are nice cards. Next up, Red Sox. Bowman Crown. Jaron Duran. Duran. I don't know. Does he push Jackie Bradley Jr. along? He could. There's Jaron Duran. He could. We'll see. Red Sox are loaded. No Mookie bats, so he might actually have a chance. Look what we have here, folks. Holy goodness. Good night. We have an autograph, folks. We have an autograph. Wow, nice, nice card. It's Bowman Crown. This is this is getting graded for sure. Beautiful. Corners look good. The card looks good. Atlanta Braves pitcher. That is a nice card, folks. There you go. Finally, Braden Shoemake, shortstop, of course. Brandon Shoemake. What a card. That's a nice card. Uh, I don't know. We got Dansby Swanson already at short. So I does he make the team as a utility player? Three home runs, 40 RBIs, and 65 games. But up against Dansby was injured last year, so that's a good card. Really, really, really good card right there. That's the best that's a, Hey, that, that makes the box for me. And we still got one more pack to go, so this is awesome. Next pack is, uh, next guy is Riley Green, another Tigers player, another outfielder. Boy, the Tigers love outfielders. I don't know why. And it, it's the third Tigers outfielder I pulled. So we'll see again how they fit Next card is uh, the last card of the pack. Nick Bennett for the Milwaukee Brewers. Nick Bennett. Nick. Left handed pitcher for the Brewers. He could make it this year. We'll see. I don't again. 60 games, I think you're going to need every player who's available. So 
some of these teams were. Last pack. Joey Cantillo for the uh, Padres again. This is the third left-handed pitcher for the Padres. Come across. He's from Hawaii. Third left-handed pitcher from the Padres I've, I've come across so far. This, well, I guess they like their left-handers. We got Matt Strom also on the roster. Nice card. Next up we have Oh baby, the next card. Look look what you can see in the screen already. We'll talk about him in a minute. Wilfred Astrio. New York Mets. Catcher. Eh. Could possibly with with uh, Travis Darno. I'm not sure. The Mets have two catchers already. He he may it's possible. But here's the card of the box, probably other than the autograph right here. This card is I'm gonna look this guy up. This is getting great for sure. This is Monstrosser's card, right? Monstrosser's card here. This card is unbelievable. I think this one is staying with me for right now. I don't think it's going anywhere from my collection for a while. Uh, this one is actually staying with me. I don't know for how long, but this is the card. Rookie of the Year favorites, Jordan Alvarez. Since the Astros are my first team, my favorite team. Got, even before all the scandals, they were. I followed the Astros since I was in the 80s. Um, so, Jordan Alvarez. This. I'm looking that guy up right away. That's a good card. Next card. And we have one more to go. Next card is Antonio Cabello for the Yankees outfield. The out Yankees outfield is crowded. Judge. Brett Gardner. Austin Hicks. Austin Hicks is decent. Gets injured too much. We'll see. This guy could be on the bench. Maybe a fourth outfielder. Maybe a fifth outfielder. Who knows? Might get some playing time. 56 games last year when he got called up. Not bad. Another left handed pitcher. Last card of the box. Aaron Ashby. Now, does it, uh, I'm curious to know, I'm going to have to look him up, I'm curious to know, time frame fits, does anybody know, I'll have to look this up, is this Andy Ashby's kid, used to pitch for the, um, well he pitched for several teams, Philly's out. Uh, Padres back in the day. But is this Andy Ashby's kid? Does anybody know? I'm gonna look this up. Aaron Ashby, left-hander. Boy, this box is filled with left-handed pitchers. There you have it. There is our 2020 Mega Box. Pretty good box. Pulled an auto. Pulled a pretty good rookie of the uh, year favorite, Jordan Alvarez, which was pretty amazing. So there you have it, folks. Next box. I don't know. I want to do a video for the whole box, but I may do a video for some of the packs. I've taken a picture of it earlier. Here's the box. 90 score. It's already got my man on front, Bo. Got Santiago and Jerome Walton on the side. Santiago. Jerome Walton had like a 35 game hitting streak in his rookie year. Santiago was a pretty decent catcher. 
had an okay career. I think he could have been a lot better than he was. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer, and Frank Sweet Music Viola, who I actually met Frank Viola uh, at a, a Round Rock Express game. He was on uh, Fairwood Team the Mets um, and uh, as a coach about two years ago. Got his autograph. Pretty cool dude. Got a few of his rookie cars I'm about to send him to be graded. Tops. So, yeah, Frank Viola, pretty good pitcher. I think it was him. I'll have to look that up too. I think it was him and Ron Darling, possibly, who had the duel when Ron Darling CL pitched 12 innings to a 12 inning shutout in college. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, that concludes today's uh, box break for the 2020 Mega Box Bowman, Bowman, Bowman Chrome. In sports cards, Austin Sports JP on Twitter. Looks up. And uh, everybody have a good day out there.